Understanding the phrase, soul crushing, a guide for English learners. Hello, everyone, welcome to our English learning channel. Today, we're going to explore a very expressive phrase in English, soul crushing. This phrase is often used to describe experiences or situations that are extremely disheartening or demoralizing. Let's dive into what this phrase means and how you can use it in your everyday English. Soul crushing is an adjective phrase used to describe something that is extremely upsetting, disheartening, or demoralizing. It implies that the experience or situation is so negative that it feels as though it's crushing your spirit or soul. This phrase is often used to describe work environments, tasks, or experiences that are particularly draining or difficult to endure. To understand how soul crushing is used, let's look at some examples. 1. Working 12 hours a day in a job I hate is soul crushing. 2. Hearing the news about the environmental crisis can be soul crushing. 3. The movie portrayed the soul crushing reality of living in a war zone. These examples show how the phrase can be applied to various contexts, emphasizing the severe emotional impact of the situation. If you're looking to express a similar sentiment but with different words, here are some synonyms and related phrases. Heartbreaking, demoralizing, depressing, spirit-breaking, devastating. Each of these has a slightly different nuance, but they all convey a sense of deep emotional distress. It's important to use soul crushing appropriately as it's a strong phrase with significant emotional weight. It's best used in situations that truly merit such a description. Overusing it, or using it to describe minor inconveniences, can diminish its impact. We hope this video has helped you understand the meaning and usage of the phrase, soul crushing. Remember, language is not just about words, but the emotions and experiences they convey. Use soul crushing to express those moments of profound distress, and your English will be all the more vivid and expressive for it. Thank you for watching, and we hope to see you in our next video.